Do you have a plan to increase the quality and quantity of incoming teachers into public schools? And is legislation like the No Child Left Behind Act effective in improving schools' conditions? Uh, I'll, I'll answer the second part of that first. The answer is no, uh, with respect to No Child Left Behind. Here's the vision I want to bring for education in America. First of all, starting from ages three, four, and five, we, I believe, would benefit as a nation to have a universal pre-kindergarten program for children ages three, four, and five that would provide reading skills, social, educational skills, nutrition program. It would be a wonderful way to help those children who would otherwise not have an early start to, to, to open it up to all young Americans. And this would be instrumental in helping to close some of the achievement gaps, which uh, was the basis of the creation at least theoretically, of the No Child Left Behind program. Here's where I'm going. As president, I, I, will, I will order a 15% reduction in that bloated Pentagon budget and put the money right into a universal pre-kindergarten program. That's where that money comes from. $60 billion. We can do it without in any way affecting our ability to defend our country. We're already spending more than the rest of the world combined. Hello. And really, think about that. Direct, more than the rest of the world combined for the Pentagon. While well, we're cutting funds for education, health care, job creation, veterans, and housing, we're spending more than the rest of the world combined. We're going to cut that budget 15%, cut out the waste, the fat, the bloat, give our children a chance for an early start, fully fund the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, smaller classroom sizes, better paid teachers, money for professional development for teachers, for between 60 and 70 billion dollars a year. We can have a fully funded program which would enable every young American to be able to go to any college or university, any public college or university, tuition free. It was said 40 years ago you couldn't get anywhere if you didn't have a high school diploma. Today it's said that you can't get anywhere if you don't have a college diploma. But so many people are finding that they lack access to the resources to go to college. State budgets are being cut and tuitions going up everywhere, all over the country. So I'm talking about changing the way we think about these things in the United States, where, where we change our thinking that says that it's mandatory, that we expect that everyone will be able to have an education from at, at least age three all the way through, including college. See, see. My candidacy is really about taking America in a new direction. It's challenging the thinking upon which this country rests and the direction America is going in. And it's showing Americans new possibilities, a new future, but it involves the choices that we make. We can choose war over peace if we want. We can choose poverty over prosperity if we want. But I'm showing people there is a path towards peace and a path towards prosperity for all.